Rhymebill is now online. Hey guys and girls, today I'm going to show you how to save data or information using JavaScript. First things first, you want to open a HTML tag and close it down below. Following that, you want to open a body tag and close that also. Next up, we're going to open two paragraph tags, one with an ID of save text and the other one with an ID of open text. The idea of this is going to be used later on when we're debugging. All right, now we can make the input type text and make the ID input. All right, to follow this up, we're gonna make a button which calls the function save. And this save is gonna be used to save our input. Now we can move on to our script. So here we're gonna reference a variable stored item which is gonna be equal to locus storage dot get item stored item. In English, this just sets up our storage. Now we can move on to our function save. Whoops, don't forget brackets besides save in our unclick method. Now we can call this function without any errors. First of all, we're going to set a variable which is going to be our item and this item is going to be equal to whatever we type in our input box. So we're just going to reference it with a little bit of document that get element by id dot value. Alright, to actually save it, what we need to do is type in localhost our set item and in brackets we want to pass in our stored item and comma what we're going to pass is our item. By the way, the set item has nothing to do with the variable item, it's just item item. Uh, <laughs> so now we're just going to use our paragraph tags to display what we saved. Next up, we're going to create a function to get this value whenever we open our page. The same get you would say when you want to get this bread. <laughs> <laughs> But to do that, we have to call this function when the page loads. So on top, we're going to say body on load is equal to get. And don't forget your brackets. Then we want to type local storage dot get item. And then we want to get a stored item. And then that's it. And down below, we can just use our paragraphs to see what we got. Awesome. All you have to do is save it as a .html file and open it up. Because I've already tested this out, you can see Rhymebill open is on top. But if you're just opening it for the first time, it should not say anything. So go ahead and type in it and hit save. Whoa, it's not working. How come? Let's see a little bit. Inspect element and see what's wrong. Whoa, I actually spelled item wrong. Oh, so all you have to do is to change your item, the I in there from lowercase to uppercase, because that's what the variable is. Lol. Whoa, that's so cool. Now you can see, hey guys, this has been open. Let's test it out more. So if I was to type in lol and hit save, you should see lol has been saved. And if I go ahead and refresh, you should see lol has been opened. You can literally use this if you're trying to save usernames or just save common information which is pretty cool. And also next time, Rainbow out.